Do you know how to make DeepSeek AI agent and how to make AI agent reason before respond? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to FreeWords 2 and let's create our first AI agent by using the DeepSeek that I installed locally using Olama. This AI agent can think and work for us. And here is a short demo of the project. As you see, it has the ability to work with the PDF, URLs and do the web search as well. So let's build this project. So first of all, get all the prerequisites yes get them all listen and learn carefully okay the first thing is you need to know about the deep seek what it is how it works and how to load it locally using a llama you have to watch my the these two videos and i will put the link in the video description as well then you need to know about the ai agents what are they, how they work, and what are the agentic design patterns. You have to watch these two videos as well to get yourself familiar with the AI agent workflows, their designs, and their workings as well. After all this done, let's create our first AI agent by using the DeepSeek large language models that is running on our local system. So guys, here is our uh, DeepSeek AI agent code. First, we import all our accessory libraries here. We need the Agno because Agno is the agentic AI framework that we use to build our AI agents. If you don't know about Agno, you can just go this link, okay, the Agno, and you can just install it with this simple command pip install Agno, and you can just build your AI agent with just four or five lines of code as well, okay. And uh, apart from that, we need uh, our Ulama here because we need the reasoning agent and we are using the deep seek here. So for that, you need to do the Ulama, and when you load the Olama just run this command, uh, Olama run DeepSeek and it will start to run in your local machine. Okay, and then for the web search agent, we use the Gemini. Okay, we are using the Google large language model here to do the web search and uh, we are doing the web search on the DuckDuckGo. And for the rag, we are using the Chroma DB here. Okay, and uh, we are also using the generative AI embeddings as well because we are trying to load the PDFs and the web URLs as well. Okay, so for that, we need to embed the documents and then store it into the Chroma DB. Uh, so first, we initialize the name for that collection and then we also initialize our other variables here as well. And then we try to build the UI of our Streamlit app here with just a small modifications and then we initialize our Chroma DB. So for that, we try to pass the collection name that we just uh, initialize above and then we pass the embedding model, the path to store the Chroma that we pass in this, okay? And then we try to cre create the collection here. And then, and we return the Chroma object. And there are like multiple functions which are using in this whole uh, project as well. Let me explain one by one. The first function is to split the text. So whenever we upload the PDF or web URL as well, after loading the content of that, we need to split that content to store into the vector DB. So for that, we are using the recursive vector text splitting here. We pass the chunk size and the overlap as well, and then split split the docs and return the document format response at the end. So same thing, uh, the same function, we call it in the process PDF function. Whenever we load the PDF, we create a temporary file and then load all the content of that, add the metadata into that and then pass this documents into this split text function to get gen uh, generate the actual document formatted content. And same thing goes with the web url as well the url is there we load it past the metadata and then call the same function here okay and then after that we need to retrieve those documents from the vector db from the collection after we store it in into the chroma as well so for that we take the chroma client and get our collection from that and after getting the collection we search this kind of a prompt in this collection and return the top five results and return those top five results from this function okay now so for the very first ai agent we have is the web search agent so for that we are using the gemini model and to create the agent we just need to uh, import this kind of uh, agent function from this agno agent library and then you just need to pass the agent name the model that you are using and then the tools if you give the access of any tools and then the instructions and the markdown is equal to two so, so it will return the result in the markdown format okay so that's how you will create this simple ai agent here okay and now we create our next ai agent that is the rag agent by using the deep seek uh, ai model so for that we are 
doing the same kind of code here but just the model is changed here we are trying to use the olama model of the deep seek and pass the instruction here as well so that's how we create our these two ai agents so now let's see how these ai agents work okay so very first thing as you see in my this uh, ui i just have multiple options available here that it will enable the rag mode it will also enable the web search agent as well or not so based on that i just create this ui code here so when the rag is enabled only then the chroma db get initialized and then we pass the uploaded file or uploaded url as well on the base of that it will uh, process the pdf or process the url and then store the all the data into our collection as well okay and after that when we pass a prompt so based on that prompt it it will check if the rag is enabled or the web search is enabled so that it will have to retrieve the documents from the chroma db and get the context for us if the, that is there it's okay if the web search is there it will go do the web search and also give us the context as well after getting either the context from the uh, chroma db or from the web search it will pass to our rag ai agent here and when you run the ai agent you just need to do rag agent dot run pass the context pass the prompt and get all the content of this response as well and then you can easily print out this on the screen okay so that's how we build this now let's test our application in the real time so first let's just uh, uh, not enable any of this uh, functionality here we have our deep seek r1 model running here just ask a simple question that what is the capital of france okay so this answer it will try to give from its own knowledge of the deep seek r1 uh, okay so the answer is here the capital of france is paris and with all the things that it will give us the answer in the real world okay now now let's enable this rag mode and try to upload a document here and try to ask the question about this uh, document as well i am uploading this document it is based on the knowledge graph uh augmented retrieval as well okay just pass it it here it will try to run it and when it run it will store all the data into the vector db as you see here it is storing it into the vector db as well okay see and now i just ask the question we need to ask what kind of question we need to ask we ask like uh, what is graph rag and how knowledge graph is better than traditional rag okay this is the question that we want to ask this uh deep seek local ai reasoning agent as well so once this document uh, running is complete we just ask the question right away okay so the our document is successfully loaded into vector db so just ask this question in the same manner what is rag how it is uh, better than the traditional rag now it will try to generate the answer fetching the response from the chroma db and try to give us the answer as well okay so the answer is here that graph rag starts from this and what are the pros what are the cons in everything it will give us the very beautiful answer by using this knowledge graph as well same, uh, same way you can use the enable web search you can just ask about one thing what are the latest uh, research papers on llm in march 25 just ask this now this will go and search with the help of web search agent as well okay so the result is here that uh, the lcm trade-off is also there the coverage tables the future target summarization every tape every kind of thing is resulted in the latest information and that happens because we enable the web search fallback as well okay so that's how this uh, deep seeker local reasoning agent will work by using the gemini and multiple kind of things as well i hope you really like this uh, uh, project as well i will upload the code of this ai agent on my github library just go to this link that uh, github simranjit 97 and in the repository as well i will upload all the code in this agent ai course here okay uh, and in our next uh, video we will build an ai agent on the investment analyst we will try to build an agent that will use the yahoo finance api along with the stock market data to predict that which stock uh, 
परफॉर्मेंस इज गुड विच स्टॉक्स टू होल्ड विच स्टॉक्स टू बाय विच स्टॉक्स टू सेल एज वेल ऑन द बेस ऑफ ऑल द इन्वेस्टमेंट एनालिसिस और द मल्टीपल ए पी आई डेटा दैट वी हैव इट्स ऑल्सो ए कम्प्लीट एंड टू एंड प्रोजेक्ट टू जस्ट बी विद इट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट द जनरेट ए वे आई लाइव लैंग्वेज मॉडल प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग और मशीन लर्निंग एंड डेटा साइंस यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब एंड ऑल्सो रीड माई ब्लॉग्स एंड मीडियम विल मीट नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक गाइज थैंक यू सो मच